I'm planning a deep dive into V60 pour over soon, and in preparation, I wanted to have a brew oriented grinder on hand for comparison so that I could let you know if a device like that makes enough of a difference to consider buying. Eureka makes a grinder called the Mignon Brew Pro, which has a lot in common with the Specialita. Both machines use 55 millimeter burrs, dose by time, and have an on-demand configuration that you can adapt to single dosing by weight fairly easily. I didn't buy a Brew Pro, I simply transformed my beloved Specialita into one by swapping out the burrs, which are good quality and cost only 25 euros. Gotta love Eureka on this score. We think of pour-over as a very forgiving method, so we might reasonably question the wisdom of getting a fancy machine just for that. I wanted to see if my spet handles V60 brewing better than before, and if so, whether the difference is enough to justify buying a dedicated grinder. Let's put her to the test, shall we? Oh my god. It's like a miracle. Burrs are meant to break up the coffee beans and crush them and cut them and impose an upper size limit on particles exiting the chamber. The designs here are noticeably different. The Specialita burrs on the left are more aggressive. You're going to create more fines with this blade pattern. I think you can imagine a lot of cracking and crunching as coffee flows through the chamber. The brewing burrs on the right offer more precision. We have the same number of blades, but they're noticeably longer with shallower troughs between. This gives us less crunching and more cutting, which means fewer fines. And fewer fines means that you can grind smaller overall to get more flavor out of the coffee. You can easily see the differences in particle size distribution. I brewed coffee using three different grinders with the same ratios and filters. I used Hario's boxed brown papers, which encourage fines to build up on the sides, so they're good for this comparison. There's no need for any fancy software and laser diffraction gadgetry. The differences are obvious. The Niche Zero leaves us with a generous layer of fines clinging to the sides and a substantial amount spilling onto the surface. This grinder is focused on espresso, where the high proportion of fines is welcome because they add texture and richness. In the middle, we have the Eureka Mignon Oro Single Dose. This has burrs with the same proportions and blade pattern as the stock Specialita burrs, so it's an ideal substitute. This is exactly what the Spet produces, a moderate layer of fines on the sides with a minimum of spillover onto the surface. And now, the sample you've been waiting for. I've got my trusty Specialita fitted with the brewing-oriented burrs. You can see the difference at a glance. We've got a sparse buildup of fines on the sides, and of course, nothing at all on the surface. And this does change things. First, you need to grind finer overall with these burrs. I've got my machine adjusted less than one full rotation away from where the burrs touch. To put that in context, normally I'd use around one and a half rotations for pour over. So six quarters versus seven eighths or three quarters. And the taste? Assuming your overall grind size is small enough, the coffee will be light bodied and strong. You can achieve a cleaner mouthfeel with real intensity and depth of flavor. But don't be timid, you have to experiment with grinding finer than you're probably used to if you want to get the most out of it. So how do I like it personally? I'll put it this way. Because I have the Oro Single Dose, which produces ground coffee indistinguishable from the stock Specialita, I'm going to leave the brewing burrs in place permanently and use the modded Spet as my default pour-over grinder. But I will use the Single Dose for pour-over too. It has the Specialita flavor profile, which I like. It's a bit richer and punchier. But I'll get into all those variables about filter speeds and brewing times and slurry temperatures in the V60 tutorial that I'm currently working on. 
I modded this grinder specifically for use in that video, and I'll have more to say about it then. I'm also going to try the modded spet with espresso when I have time. I should be able to grind finer overall for a similar effect. Intuitively, I would expect brighter and more complex flavors at the cost of some richness and texture, but we'll see. Well, that's about all I've got for today. Soon I'll finish that V60 video, but I'm taking my time, so you know it will be great. I'm also going to do a complete teardown of the Niche Zero to find out if it really is too lightly built, as some users have claimed. I'll be getting a 9 Barista Espresso Maker soon, and I look forward to telling you all about it. There are more grinders on the way as well. And I've got a special gadget to show you, but surely you wouldn't want me to spoil it. I'll just say there's a lot of good material in the pipeline, so keep in touch. Cheers! <laughs>